Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 18, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. As you can see, we're down 2.67% at this current stage, trading 1156 and it's just looking really bad for this ETF. It's, first of all, has lost roughly, at this current date, roughly 36.4, 43% uh, of its value since mid-February. That's, that's fairly ridiculous. And it looks like the pain is not over yet. So we are testing the to 300 moving average. If the 300 moving average were to to break, then this may drop significantly further. We can look at the Fibonacci retracement for this. We can see that we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement right here. So that should offer massive support. But if that were to break, we could drop all the way down to here, 81. That is probably as far as this will basically go. And that's another drop of 19.6% to the downside. And that would be um, horrifying for the CDF to be, to be fairly honest. People that invested at the top here, wouldn't blame them when they look at this move. But uh, if we were to break the 300, then there's a heck of a lot of losses that will occur if that were to, uh, to happen. To the upside, we have the 20 exponential that has crossed the 200 moving average, but uh, at the 111, that's probably going to be uh, the, um, uh, as far as this will go to the upside at this current stage. So if you rally from here, then we'll probably run into major resistance at 111. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that they are looking dreadful. The MACD is uh, bearish, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is bearish. We still have quite a lot of room to the downside here in the in the Bollinger Band, but this candlestick for the day is looking very negative. So we may see a drop even further towards 196 tomorrow if this basically occurs. If there's no pullback at the end of the session, then that is very likely. We are oversold at this current stage and we are basically approaching the bottom of this Bollinger Band. So let's look at DVI. So DVI is up 0.30%. Uh, so uh, while the market is uh, fairly down, then it's quite impressive that this is basically up. So this is, um, yes, if you just look at technical indicators for this uh, for this ETF, we can see the MACD is bullish, the stochastic RSI is bullish, the CCI is uh, bullish, and the stochastic is bullish. But we are approaching overbought conditions as well. We are at 68 at this current stage in the RSI. And the bullish band, we can see what happened last time we went outside. We basically broke all the way down to the bottom. So the stock market may retest the, the previous lows of uh, le last week. As if you look at, especially at the tech stocks and so on, that is very likely that that will occur. So there's not a lot of room to the upside. If you wanted to enter this, you should have entered here at the middle of the bullish band. And we had had uh, roughly 3.8%. Uh, present to the upside. So let's look at VTI. So VTI is down uh, roughly half a percent and uh, we're trading underneath the 20 exponential and just above the 40 exponential moving average. We ran into trouble at the middle of the bullish band, got rejected there and therefore we may head back down towards the bottom of the bullish band. So that's a drop roughly 1.36% to the downside just at the 50 moving average. If the 50 breaks, then we head to the 300 moving average down here at the 205. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, CCI is bearish, uh, no, RSI is bearish, CCI is flat, and stochastic is uh, becoming bullish at this current stage. If we were to break above the middle of the bullish band, then we could head towards the top, which is roughly 2.34% to the upside. So let's look at MCHI. So Chinese stocks have uh, rallied quite significantly uh, the last two trading days. And probably the main reason for that is because they've been really cheap. They have been really cheap. So they have been falling um, since mid-February and they have fallen quite substantially up to 35% up to 50% of its value in only this period and have become really, really cheap. So 
there's quite a lot of focus on the Chinese uh, stock. So um, if we look at technical indicators for, for this um, ETF, we can see the MACD is turning around. It's still underneath the signal line, still in, bear, um, still in a negative territory. So we have the RSI, which is flat. CCI is, uh, is flat and stochastic is bullish at this point. It's becoming bullish. And so we may head towards the middle of the bullish band. That's a rally of roughly 2.24% to the upside. And uh, that would mean that we would test the 200 moving average. So there's a lot of, of moving averages to get through before we basically break the 100 moving average and uh, go and uh, target the previous highs again. If we drop from here, then the 300 moving average at 75 will most likely be the bottom of this market. So IBB. So IBV is down 0.47%. We are running into problems here at the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators there are also fairly mixed here. MACD is bearish. RSI is flat. CCI is flat. Stochastic is becoming bullish. Um, and yes, we have a problem here at the middle of the bullish band with the 20 simple moving average. 416 is uh, where we're trading at this current stage. If we get rejected here, we may head back towards the bottom. Uh, breakdown of roughly 1.42% or even the very lows here of 2.28% um, to the downside. To the upside, we'll mostly run into major resistance around 424. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and uh, good luck and thank you very much.